Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new NASCAR 21 video here on the channel today We're gonna showcase the paint booth in the game here very excited to show you guys uh, What you can do with this I'm gonna put a picture on the screen of the reference card I was making we're making Jeff Gordon's 2015 Exalted throwback rainbow warrior car from Bristol Motor Speedway Jeff Gordon my all-time favorite driver And I said you know what for the first game we make on this game ever I want it to be a Jeff Gordon car so uh uh, the paint booth, obviously, so much better than NASCAR Heat. It's similar to the NASCAR 15 one, but it's still a little bit bare bones compared to the NASCAR 15 paint booth. There is zero option to make custom logos, so if you want to make a custom number, not going to happen, unfortunately. If you want to put text on your car, not going to happen. You can't put text on your car, uh, and like I said, you can't do custom numbers, you can't make custom logos, so you're limited to just the preset number designs, unfortunately, uh, as well as the preset logos. That is a huge, huge letdown to me. Uh, I was hoping we had the option to go in and like NASCAR 15 that was called brushes in that game, where you could make your own custom brushes, make any logo, make any number, and you could make some really, really nice paint schemes here. I'm going to throw a quick example uh, of an old scheme I made back on NASCAR 15 paint booth uh, and you can see you can do a custom number custom logos with sponsors etc so unfortunately we don't have that luxury in this game so you're limited to like I said the preset numbers and sponsors so basically we're gonna make the Exalta car uh, but have to use those preset number designs and sponsor designs I'll of course show you guys all of the logos as well as shapes and stuff that you can use here now. Uh, and fortunately, I mean, with what you get here, it's still a really good paint booth. I mean, it thankfully has all the fundamentals you need to make a nice paint scheme and gives you the option to mirror stuff from the left side to the right side, which is really important. You can copy paste and whatnot uh, here as you're going to see me looking through all of the sponsors. It's mainly, it feels like a uh, Joe Gibbs Racing and Roush Fenway Racing paint booth is basically what you get here for the sponsorships. So um, there's really not much variety because like I said, you're limited to the JGR main sponsors and then just some Roush Fenway like logos and stuff and then some MRN and NASCAR Ignition Motorsport Games stuff. So not a lot of variety. That's 100% something that needs to change uh, here as you see all the shapes. So you got enough shapes here to be able to make a nice paint scheme and then you got stripes. Uh, this one right down here reminds me of the uh, DEI uh, like little three stripe kind of thing that's like an E basically here. So. Um, Overall, like I said, there's enough there to do what you, I think, want to do and make some complex cars. So, unfortunately, you cannot use custom paint schemes in career mode. And I will be starting my career mode at some point soon. But like I said in the previous video that you probably saw earlier today, 100%, uh, they have to fix the AI uh, and where they all run uh, to me, for me, to start a career mode in this game. Still got five episodes left remaining, by the way, of our NASCAR Heat 5 career mode. So we're at least still going to have career mode content on the channel. But once they, of course, get that fixed and get stages as well in the game, which is not in the game currently, then I will be ready to start a career mode. I was looking into modding as well for NASCAR 21. Haven't had any luck yet with modding. Obviously, you guys know my NASCAR Heat 5 series was completely modded. Every single car in the Cup series was modded. Uh, and unfortunately, I don't know if that's going to be the case for NASCAR 21 Ignition. I'm talking, of course, to some people trying to figure it out because obviously on NASCAR 21 Ignition, it's on a completely different uh, engine. You're on the Unreal Engine instead of the Unity Engine. And NASCAR Heat 5 uh, was pretty complicated to mod, but once you figured it out, it got pretty easy. So uh, I'm really, really hoping for the best here for NASCAR 21 Ignition because the career mode is pretty bare bones right now. So I, I think there's enough content there to at least be able to crank out a series on it but uh, I'm definitely exploring other ideas right now uh, as you're gonna see though making this paint scheme here um, as uh, one of my favorite things I found right away here from this paint booth in NASCAR 21 ignition is it brought back the nostalgia from NASCAR 15 where I could turn on my Spotify or uh, I didn't have Spotify back in 2015 but I could turn on my music just chill lay back and just have fun uh, and make a paint scheme here so that's what i was doing here as i had to actually mute the game audio for this episode so there should be some background music but i just had my uh chain smokers and like black pink going the whole time while i made this paint scheme here so it was a really nice just comfortable laid back chill time and i really enjoyed it now I'm not 100% sure if you can use the custom paint schemes in an online race. Uh, I'm pretty sure I heard you cannot, but like I said, do not take that 
uh, for sure, because I'm not actually 100% sure if you can use a paint booth car or not in online. You can use it in single player. I will show it on track at the end of this video here. But you're just seeing me go through the process. I was using the circle shape to just make these stripes. And I felt like overall, uh, it looked pretty good. You know, my first take at doing a paint booth car in years i've made some of course modded schemes on an ascar heat 5 with adobe photoshop but it's nothing like of course doing it on the paint booth here in nascar 21 ignition so it, it felt pretty much exactly the same uh, as the process of nascar 15 just a little bit more limited uh with the custom logos and stuff you can do but overall like i said i felt like it was turning out pretty well here for my first attempt at this paint booth now it's not a very complicated scheme that we're making here jeff gordon's rainbow warrior car you know it's just three stripes on the sides and then three stripes on the hood and then you got some blue in the middle and you got red on both ends of the car so uh, i think it's a, honestly a really good starting paint scheme if you want to maybe try and learn the paint booth uh for the basics of it now uh, as you can see uh, me putting on the final touches here on the hood now i mentioned of course no custom logos that you can make so that makes it complicated because well we have exalta on jeff gordon's rainbow warrior 2015 car so i wanted to at least incorporate the exalta logo onto the hood of this car and i knew that was going to be tough but you're going to see me in a few moments time try to actually work that in here so uh now here i was uh trying to figure out how can i make the stripes look good uh by connecting them on the side of the car to the hood of the car so i had to skew uh the circle shape here mess around with the movements and the size of it uh but i eventually got it to a, a point where i felt like it looked good enough to actually pull something off here so i would make it that kind of later blue and it actually matches up pretty well with the hood there so i was pretty happy with that so now we just kind of repeat that progress or process for the next three colors of green yellow and red now in the comments let me know which paint schemes you guys plan to make and if you would like to see me maybe try and make some more paint schemes we could turn this into a, a weekly series of uh one paint scheme a week we go into the nascar 21 ignition paint booth and make it so let me know in the comments section if you would like to see that now uh, as i am very open to other series ideas currently so uh let me know in the comments of course we're going to have a nascar 21 ignition career mode but it's not going to be anywhere near the amount that we had in nascar heat 5 of almost uh, 300 episodes at this point in time i am dabbling actually in a potential i racing career mode but that will require i racing to have ai cup cars set up for all oval tracks and road course tracks of course on the nascar cup series schedule if that happens you could very well see a uh, oval or sorry not an oval but an i racing career mode in general on my channel as well there and i made the front bumper red but they actually forgot to cover one spot you could not cover like this one little just rectangle of blue uh by the front lights there which was a little bit annoying now as we got the bumper covered and we got the the actual paint scheme in itself made so uh i felt like overall we did a pretty good job here now it was time to try and make the exalta logo so i knew this was going to be complicated i didn't think it was going to turn out very well considering my experience with this paint booth so uh, I ended up using, of course, the rectangles. I knew I, I actually tried using this shape right here, uh, but then I realized that, well, we can't actually like take parts off of the shape. So I can't like select an area and delete an area of the shape. So I had to try and use the square object once again here. So uh, we would just kind of mess around with the skew of it and eventually get a nice slant going there. And I felt like it was gonna look half decent. Obviously we can't put the word Exalta under the A, unfortunately, because like I said, you do not have an ability ability to put font on the car or text on the car, I should say, uh, and you can't make custom logos here. So this is your way of making custom logos here. You have to just do it right on the car and you can't just make a logo and save it and use it in the future, unfortunately here. So you can't even put your name on the car because obviously with no text, you can't do that. So uh, you mean you can maybe somehow try and do it with shapes, but you would have to make them extremely, extremely small and there's no way that would work. So overall, I felt like uh, the Exalta logo turned out decent for my experience here. Definitely didn't turn out great. I'm sure, you know, Lefty would have went in here and made something way, way better than what I had just came up with, of course, now. Uh, as Like I said, though, I felt like it turned out half and decent here. As this was just the fin final touches 
on this car and then it was time to put the sponsors and stuff on the car and I didn't really know what to do with the sponsors because there's no Hendrick Motorsports sponsors in the paint booth here so I really had no idea what I wanted to do but that was the A uh, for the Exalta and I, I felt like it could have been a little bit larger probably but overall I was pretty happy with it. And then it was time, of course, uh, to actually try and make the, uh, like I said, sponsor areas for this car. So uh, Jeff Gordon has a 3M logo right here on this 2015 car. So I made that little white rectangle there. We don't, of course, have a 3M logo in the game. So I just had to come up with something that was like red. So I actually put the Motorsport Games logo in there instead. Uh, and then, yeah, just the rest of this is just me trying to find the right logo. Now, some of these sponsors, you can actually change it to any single color you want, which is really cool. Uh, but and then you got like the team sponsors for like Joe Gibbs Racing. They do not let you change the color of those. I was hoping we could maybe add some contingency sponsors there on the door of the car. Unfortunately, uh, we cannot do that so that's a little bit unfortunate now uh, but you can see me I was trying to mess around I was going to put Dewalt on the car but then I realized nope you cannot change the color of those so uh, we couldn't work with that because I needed something that was going to be white and I originally actually went with a, it was like called Mercury I don't know I don't have a clue what Mercury is but that's what I put on the car for the time being but I actually took it off by the end so just final touches going on to this car at this point let me know in the comments uh, what you think overall of what you see here do you think this paint booth is good I think Myself, it's a good starting point, but um, it really lacks the ability for people to get really creative because we can't make our own custom numbers in or custom logos slash sponsors, and we can't even put text on the car. So if you want to put something on your car, text form, like your name, you can't do that. So uh, like I said, a good starting point, which I feel like is kind of the basis of this game is it's a good starting point, but it lacks uh, everything else to go further. So hopefully that's something that can get patched in the future i don't know i feel like getting text on a car for your paint booth is an easy patch to do so uh who knows we'll have to wait and see but uh then we came in and put the very final like sponsors on this car i just threw the motorsport games logo on there and that was pretty much it so we're gonna do a quick little like uh swing around here show you guys the 360 camera in just a moment here of this car in general now as i also had to throw the motorsport games logo on there i decided to throw that on instead of that mercury logo uh on both sides of the car i forgot to put a, a roof logo on the car but the 24 is so big that you really can't find any room for it and uh here i was doing the contingencies uh on the literally just the front bumper and then i changed the goodyear logo to black so it kind of popped up more but here's in the race now menu you can actually do a full look around of your custom paint booth car if you want to race your custom paint booth car in single player you got to go all the way to the end of the driver list past daniel suarez and it'll be your custom car right there so here is myself on the track here at the Charlotte Roval. Now, as you can see, you get to wheel this thing around the track here. Uh, very cool to get to actually see our custom paint booth car again on the track. When I saw this immediately, I'm like, oh God, that A does not look that good. Um, I definitely could have done a better job with that. It just seems too skinny. It needs to be wider. So, and that's where making custom logos would really come in handy because then you can also change the size of everything and they're all locked together and stuff. Uh, but I'm sure you could have linked the shapes together actually in the paint booth, but still, please, Motorsport Games, get us an option to make custom numbers, uh, logos, sponsors, etc. Basically, basically, give us what NASCAR 15 had, that brush uh, kind of thing, I think it was called if I'm not mistaken. But that's an overlook at the NASCAR 21 Ignition paint booth. Let me know what you thought, let me know what you would like to see maybe from myself in the future here with NASCAR 21 Ignition cars, uh, and I will see you guys all in the next one. Have a great day, everybody.